Hello, I am Amy Farrah Fowler. Delighted to meet you. Today I will give you some advice on flirting. Well, I am a neuroscientist after all. I, I know how the brain works. I used to find the notion of romantic love an unnecessary cultural construct that adds no value to human relationships, but that was before I met Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> yeah, I'm his girlfriend, I'm his girlfriend. Yes, I know, I'm excited. <laughs> Anyways, um, I currently work with uh, behavior patterns of animals, most generally monkeys, titty monkeys, especially mating networks and uh, during mating season we see a lot of mating behaviors we never see we see a lot of flirtatious behaviors from the males so basically the male will approach the female and sometimes he'll you know tap on her face to get her attention or he'll make you know faces such as um lip smacking like that Oh, they could do other things like, you know, suave upper body dips while bouncing up and down in front of the females. <laughs> See, I think we have a lot to, to learn from them, from the monkeys. So I suggest the lip smacking as a way uh, to seduce the male. Unless you're more of a, you know, suave upper body dips bouncing kind of girl. Your choice. Alright, now I'm gonna demonstrate the um, lip smacking technique. Um, let me check. Mm, I'm a man eater now. I'm going to video chat Sheldon, my boyfriend. Um, and if my new lipstick leads to phone sex, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the room. We're clear? Okay. Let me video chat him. Call him. Okay. It's ringing. Showtime. Uh, who are you? His assistant? Well, tell him that Amy called. He knows my last name. I'm his girlfriend. Well, look, we have a relationship agreement. We have a contract and everything. I'll, I'll send you a PDF. I can't believe it. Can you believe that? His assistant answers the phone now. Like, uh, and she's such a skank. I mean, it's not like I have anything to worry about. I mean, she only has a master's degree, so <laughs> why do I care? Mm. I guess I'm only left with one solution. I'm going to publicly shame him and then sit back as society pressure compels him to modify his behavior. Oh, it's easy. All I have to do is fabricate a piece of tantalizing gossip. And uh, yeah, I'll just tell everyone that, I don't know, I had a sexual encounter at the comic book store with some stranger. He thus will be humiliated that I cheated on him and told him the word about it. I mean, anyway, I'll stop talking about my boyfriend. I know it can be quite, you know, embarrassing for you because you don't have a boyfriend. You're single. I mean, it's, and look at me bragging about my, my Sheldon. No, I'll stop. Anyway, let's go back to flirting. Um, so once you, uh, seduce your prey, uh, you can go on a date with them. And uh, basically being on a monkey date, not that I've been on one, but I mean, I mean I've, I've been, you know, obs observing them. Um, being on a green monk, an, a monkey date is basically grooming each other and show aggression towards other monkeys together. So being on a human date is basically the same. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I mean, you just spend time complimenting each other, hoping one compliment to another, you know, what will lead to coitus. And you will also gather to bitch about your common friends together. So yeah, it's basically the same. We are far more similar to primates than you'd think. Now, 
It all comes down to one word. One word. What's that different? One word. One word is the key to successful coitus. And that word, I mean, I don't know if you're ready to hear it yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. That word is the key. Get ready, get ready, because that word will blow your mind. That word is proceptivity. Proceptivity. Procept isn't your mind blown? Why do you look at me like that? You, you know what proceptivity? Oh, I, I get it, I get it. You're looking at me like that because you don't think that proceptive behaviors have the, like, kind of an effect on sexual excitement. Well, let me prove you wrong, Missy. I have here a fascinating article about the subject, and I will prove you wrong. Let me find it. I was just reading it today, actually. Alright. So, oh. it's an article about proceptivity. Mm. Don't worry about it, it's my cat. Proceptivity. Proceptivity, Beach's second component of female sexual behavior, is defined as the extent to which a female initiates mating. Uh -uh. Proceptive behaviors therefore reflect a female willingness and motivation to mate. This aspect is analogous to sex drive or libido. Thus, behaviors in which a female is sexually solicitous and initiates copulation, but not the act of copulation per se, obviously, um, are considered proceptive. <laughs> Whereas attribute reflects how much a male is attracted to a female, proceptivity reflects how much a female is attracted to a male. Importantly, the identification and study of proceptivity has contributed significantly to the understanding that female mating behavior is not simply a passive process whereby the female just waits for the male to copulate with him, with her, but rather Females play an active role in initiating many aspects of sexual interaction and copulation. <laughs> Functionally, proceptive behaviors serve to arouse the male and to facilitate, coordinate, and synchronize male and female behaviors and bodily adjustments necessary for the act of copulation. <laughs> Proceptive behavior may also play a role in mate seeking and identification as well as mate selection. I'm sorry, I have to take care of my cat. There you go. Proceptive proceptive behavior may also play a role in mate seeking and identification as well as mate selection. Supporting the importance of proceptivity in reproductive behavior, when female rats display pr Fine, the study is about rats. I, I never said it was about humans, but I mean, it's basically the same. So, um, supporting the importance of proceptivity in reproductive behavior, when female rats, humans, display proceptive behavior, actively seek out and promote sexual interaction, Successful copulation occurs 90% of the time, whereas only 3% of male-initiated contact result in successful copulation. And I mean, that is pretty similar to what the results would be if we, you know, had to do the same experiment with humans. I mean, think about it. I would say that in 90% of the cases when a man is trying to get a woman, I mean, sexually speaking, having you know, a sexual, you know, you know, well, I would say that in 90% of the case it fails, whereas when a woman tries, I mean, in 97% of the cases she succeeds, so, you know, rats and humans are not that different. Anyways, proceptive behaviors may increase the level of sexual excitement in the performing females, although this conjecture has not been systematically studied. Alright, alright, you got me. They do say the conjecture hasn't been systematically studied, so I guess you were kind of right for doubting me, and I... Well, okay. Anyway, 
oh oh my god there is okay so i just found that old article i used to read secretly in my room when i was a teenager kind of my porn of the time actually yes yes i used to read porn i'm that kind of girl um but since we're between us girls and that we're talking about dirty stuff already i mean i'll share it with you but i may warn you the hotness of this neuroscientific article will make you wish i was an alpha male you could just mate with right away all right let me read it to you okay are you ready i'm, I'm gonna read it i'm gonna whisper it because i don't Isn't it great? Um, you know what? Reading that kind of stuff really makes me miss Sheldon. You know, whenever I'm around Sheldon, I feel like my my loins are on fire. Oh, in a good way, not in the urinary tract infection way. <laughs> of course we didn't. And by didn't, I mean of course we engage in sexual intercourse. Yeah, well... I would describe his lovemaking as aloof but effective. Oh, you know, I'm so happy I'm finally getting some. I mean, oh no, I mean, you look at me now and you think, who wouldn't want a piece of this yummy goddess of science and sexuality? But back then, I mean, before meeting Sheldon, man, I, I didn't have much going on, you know, I mean, so, oh. No, I, let me think, I think, oh, I had my first kiss at 22, and I only did it so I could give him his insulin back. Yeah, it's kind of sad, I mean, yeah, I, did, I didn't have anything going on, really, I mean, in college, I passed out at a frat party and woke up with more clothes on, I mean, that's how, that's how void my life was of any sexual acts. Anyway. You have to go already? But we were just getting started. I was going to read you a passage of my favorite handbook of the behavioral neurobiology of serotonin. That was hard to say. Yes, um, 
you don't want to stay are you sure are you sure it would have been so fun and then we could have you know done this this ritual that was done by this uh, tribe in the pacific islands and you know it's all about you know burning our stuff and you know to this blood pact and it would have empowered us as goddesses of sexuality you really don't want to stay fine fine well i guess more time for me to check out these dirty articles you're lost missy yeah you see you around damn 